Hi, my name's David Dainty, and I want to sell my tennis racket collection. I've been collecting for about 30 years, and uh, getting older, I'm trying to figure out what to, to do with my stuff, and I thought, hey, let's, I need the bucks, too. So, anyways, um, I've got about 200 uh, rackets on the wall. They're all pre-1930. Um, also, I've got over 60, 70 cans of balls, also, that, that are collectible. Um, I've got also, um, post-1930, I've got about 150 of these rackets also. I didn't even bring them down. They're up in the attic, most of them. Um, anyway, um, we'll come around here and, um, take you over here to this wall of some of my favorite rackets. Um, this is a, a Hazel. It's worth about 650 bucks. Um, these two are my oldest ones. They're probably from the turn of the century. This one here is a fishtail racket. You can see the fish's tail. And I've got about five or six of these. Um, this is a Coke bottle racket. It's got the extended out. The reason I've these different handles is because before 1930, they didn't use uh, leather grips. And so the racket would get slippery and slip out. And this helped people hold on to their racket. Anyway, um, then down here I've got pictures. These are reference books on tennis rackets. Um, I've also got um, a box, boxes of pressure list balls. And these are some more tennis ball cans. They all have tennis balls in them. This down here are tennis shoes from the 20s, 30s. Men didn't have uh, regular sneakers like that and they'd have these rubber soled shoes. Um, also, this is a, a woman's tennis tennis shoe. You can see the silhouette of the tennis pl player on, underneath. Um, this is uh, a couple t-shirts. This one from the French Open, and this is from the U.S. Open. Um, tennis net, and I've got other s sorts of li little knickknack here and there. Anyways, this is my collection. Uh, if you're interested, give me a call. My name is David Dainty. My number is 770-785-9113. Thanks. Bye.